I thought about this for a long time, which is the only reason I could really give this answer so quickly. As great as Marvin Hagler was, who was just stoic, who would train and run for miles screaming war. Unbelievable fighter. I mean, very disciplined. I mean, just ready for battle all the time. For some reason, I something tells me that I think Bernard Hopkins would be able to somehow outsmart, outsmart him. I feel like Bernard you Hopkins... Thought, you talking about the later version of B.I.? Yeah. Whatever you thought Bernard Hopkins was in his prime, I'm not even saying the one... I'm not saying the one that lost to Roy Jones in the early 90s, the one hand, no. No, I'm... talking I'm... about the Bernard Hopkins that had the almost Floyd Mayweather-like ability to adjust in situations. I think he would outsmart that. Marvin Hagler. You're talking about the, the 20 defensive... The, the <laughs> one who defended his title 20 times in a row. That Bernard Hopkins. That that but it's, two, it's, it's still two versions of that because it's 20 title defenses. But when you talk about B-Hop that fought Joe Lipsy, he was just a rumbler. <laughs> he just rumbled. The defensive smart B-Hop that will break you down and figure out a way. He may give away four rounds to do it. But I think we, that, that we, didn't see, we, didn't, we didn't see that to the Trinidad fight. <laughs> that's the B-Hop but, I'm talking about. The, the B-Hop that... Ducked Roy Jones because he didn't want it because he thought he he tried to price himself out and think that he deserved to have 50 50 the fight against Roy Jones in 2001. That be hot. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm be the first one to go on this one. Okay, and I'm right. a, uh, I think I'm gonna have to differ with you there, Kareem Ali. Uh, <clears throat> my heart wants to say be hot would win that matchup, but honestly, I just think that Hagler was just too tough and too strong, and I just don't see. B-Hop being able to wear him down. I just think that relentless pressure, if it didn't get to B-Hop, it would be enough to at least get Hagler the win. Well, you saw Sugar Ray Leonard out smarter. Somehow, some way. He did. He did. So but why couldn't B-Hop do the same thing with, with, with a great boxing ability? No? Uh, B-Hop's B style hey, wasn't hey, quite hey. the same as Sugar Ray Leonard's. I mean, don't get me wrong. B-Hop is a fantastic boxer, and, uh, and I'm a big B-Hop fan, but he is no Sugar Ray Leonard. <laughs> you I, just don't see, Ray Leonard. <laughs> I just don't see him being able to stop Hagler. I, I really don't. I mean, I, I thought Hearns was going to beat Hagler. And I just think that relentless pressure. I want him to, be. I want him to beat Hagler. But did you think I Hearns think was going to beat? We were four. How the fuck did you think? <laughs> 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 he said we were four. Even, even after knowing that he lost, I still wanted him to win. I think it would be a very close fight, um, but I think I think Hagler would eke out the win. But even to your point, when you say Sugar Ray, Sugar Ray, a lot of people go back and say Sugar Ray captured the moment to win that fight. And because he because he was Sugar Ray and we see the flashy combination, but there's a lot of people that to this day think Hagler should have won the decision. But B Hop doesn't get that 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 that, uh, that sprinkle. <laughs> you know, he can't box like he can't box like Ray. And even if he outboxes him in his seven to five or six to six and you on the fence, you don't get that you don't get that that, that sprinkle that, that, that Sugar Ray got. That Sugar Ray got. I need to go record here. Is the Philly guy saying that the Philly guy wouldn't win? Yeah, this is. This yeah. is, this um, is that, is that I, 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 I told you before, I got to keep my credibility. I got to keep my credibility. Actually, because I thought it was. The one time I want to be on your side. And you ruined it. You fucked it up. Because <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be closer. And I was like, maybe two months ago, I put it on my page. And it was, you know, you know, I got mostly Philly people on my face. Most of Philly was like, nah. And I was sounding like, does anybody go pick a B hop? But uh, it's not, it's, it's not that he can't. But if you had to pick, I would have to pick Marvin. I just don't see that dog that Marvin was three minutes around throwing punches that B hop could keep up with that. If he keep up with it. He he finishes on his feet, but he don't get the decision. We're talking. You gotta watch early. Oh, you gotta watch man. early, Marvin. We're talking here today as what I was when I was born, a black man. Your racism bounces off me. I'm bulletproof. Your prejudice gets deflected. I'm bulletproof. Your hatred can't penetrate.